Hello lovely humans! So I'm going to be playing some more Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm really excited to keep playing. Um, a lot of people are telling me that I'm getting close to the exciting part of the game. I don't know how to feel about that. Um, so I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> Alright. Look Sayori, it's written all over you. What am I attacking her about now? Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You are clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Hey, don't point out that her hair is messy. That's rude. Come on. A girl doesn't want to be told that. Ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Whoa! 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 Keep your hands off me. What do I think I'm doing? That is an invasion of privacy. Man, you really need to brush need a brush for this. Ew! Grossed out by myself. My hair is just really hard to get right. I think it looks cute. I won't fall for that. Ew, why am I being such a jerk? I don't think I'm ever gonna like the main character, guys. Like, ever. There is more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. Hey, neither is mine and I don't care. It's a fashion statement. I need to be a nicer person. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. Okay, so is this like my lame attempt at flirting? Because this sounds like I'm literally like a little boy with a crush on someone in like third grade and I'm like making fun of her in an attempt to flirt with her. Really embarrassing. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. Ew. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. I'm in third grade. <laughs> Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Oh wow, that makes me a really good person. Hey, you meanie. Meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Oops. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. What do I just have a list of things to make fun of her for? Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? <gasps> Yo, don't go there. Uh, that's super mean. Yeah, it is. I'm mean. I'm really mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Okay, listen. Listen, game me. Listen, okay. You don't just touch women. You don't just like without their permission, just start like fixing their clothes and touching women. This is messed up. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Ew, I'm so perfect. <gasps> oh God, oh God, I'm feeling uncomfortable. This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. It is weird. D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stup- Oh, that's me. I keep getting the voice wrong. <laughs> You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. Okay, well, character me. Um, Kelly in the game me. You should feel weird about it. You're being a huge creep. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Are you? Really? Because it's a little degrading, Sayori. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. I feel very uncomfortable. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? Guys, I'm really uncomfortable. I'm really uncomfortable. I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? I'm cringing so hard. <laughs> it did when I bought it. Sigh. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you. Oh, that's me again. Sorry, guys. I'm so bad today. <laughs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What am I, her mother? What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Don't say that out loud! 
so is she flirting with me? I, this is just very uncomfortable. Anyway, you look much better now. So yeah, let's, let's just leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. Uh, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Is this seriously that big of a deal right now? I have manners, guys. I have manners. Phew! That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. She's cute. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? <laughs> I mean, and why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. Uh, so you like it, I guess. Okay. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Yeah, well, character me, maybe you shouldn't have creepily initiated this kind of a conversation by touching a woman without her permission. This is literally insane. Eh? Uh, I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. So, like, are Sayori and, Sayori and I, are we, like, long-term, like, childhood friends or something like that? Because it seems like, out of all the girls, I'm closest to her. So, I'm wondering about the history between me and Sayori. It's a deal. <laughs> well, I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Hmm, maybe she just, like, genuinely likes me. I mean, horrible choice in men, Sayori, because I, I don't like myself, but... Yeah, I guess so, huh? So, maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Okay, like, I know she's hitting on me, obviously. Aw, but I was joking that time! Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Huh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Finally! Yay! Kelly, I can't wait to read yours! I think Sayori likes me. I wish I wasn't su such a jerk because I would be, I would treat her like a princess if I had my way, but apparently you have to be a huge jerk in this game, so. Yeah, same. I failed to sound en enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah, yeah, it was just a bunch of random words that made no sense. My relaxation ends. <laughs> I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Because being artistic is embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? <gasps> I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Oh boy. <sighs> Gotta drink some coffee for this one, guys. Gonna need all the energy I could get. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. Of course it is. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. Very organized. I could already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuke and Yuri reluctantly comply as well reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Oh boy. Who should I show my poem to first? Well, I'm gonna show it to Sayori because she, I was a huge creep. I was creeping on her all day. Um, least I could do is be kind of romantic and share a poem with her to not be a total douchebag. So I'll choose Sayori. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend, after all, who I touch without permission. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Kelly! Huh? Is it really? I thought it was just a bunch of random words. I love it! I 
had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I really didn't when I wrote that poem. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Oh, <laughs> so that's why you have a crush on me. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. God, I'm so degrading, guys. I don't like my character. Maybe even at Suki's. Oh, God, I have to get this virus off my computer. Sorry, guys. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Huh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. She's a sweetheart. She's a sweetheart. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Kelly poem! Sayori! <laughs> Why am I so mean? <laughs> She's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't like being such a jerk against my will. <laughs> and that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. How is that weird? That's like being super appreciative of my horrible poem. I want to meet my character in the game and just like... Seriously. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Wow. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Kelly. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? I beg to differ. Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. What is my motive? You guys have any ideas? Because I have some. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> She's so cute. We'll see about that. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> that was wonderful. That was wonderful. Sayori, be nice. Be nice, you. Oh, oops, what did I do? Return. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No, J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. I love her. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. I'm such a dear be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Wow, wow. What a um, passive-aggressive compliment. Really? Yeah. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I love savory so much. 
right, we're at the 15 minute mark. Um, I read Sarah's poem. I'm gonna end the video here and continue on next time. Hopefully we get to read the other girl's poems. I still don't know why my character is so unlikable and is treating this adorable girl like crap. It does not make sense to me. I don't know where the story's going, um, but I think I'm gonna hate my character the entire time. I'm already banking on that, so yeah. All right, guys, well, see you next time, and goodbye.